Start with that standoff in Mill Creek. Unified police investigating the deaths of three people involved. The standoff lasted almost 24 hours. Here's what we know. It happened yesterday inside of a home at 3900 South and Highland Creek or Highland Drive in Mill Creek. We also know the names of the victims and the suspect involved. This information coming out late tonight. Jordan Burroughs joining us now. Jordan, what do we know about the people involved? Obviously just a tragedy. Three people are now dead. Nick, all three of those names have been identified tonight by the Unified Police Department. We do know the suspect in this case is Jacob Legrand. He's 30 years old. We also do know the victims in this case. Those are two victims. That is 54-year-old Timothy Legrand and also 53-year-old Bonnie Brady. All three of those people out of Mill Creek. We also know Unified Police say this allegedly happened after a man showed up to this police precinct here in Mill Creek Township with a bloodied hand and said that he needed some help. After several attempts from police to get the suspect to come out of his house, he never did. More than 70 police officers, along with various police departments, responded. Our understanding is the family was here to do some type of intervention for drug addiction, and there was some mental health issues going on, and uh, something went bad. That something was a 30 year old, heavily armed man with a lot of ammunition. Sheriff Rosa Rivera says she believes the people inside the home were holding an intervention for the suspect. She adds it was either for drug abuse or mental illness. When you think about it, it, is, it takes a lot of resources to deal with something like this. This was the scene Friday. This was the scene Saturday. Rivera says all three people dead inside the home are relatives, including the suspect, and are unsure whether the incident was a homicide or a suicide. This is a situation where Patience is required, and I'm also really proud of the fact that that our officers exercised patience. They didn't rush in. They didn't uh, try to shoot it up. They just waited this out until the situation unfolded. As Mill Creek Mayor Jeff Silvestrini said, and so did Sheriff Rivera, officers did not fire their weapons in the standoff, even as they were being fired at. This is a sad situation. Someone lost a lo their life. And, you know, we're going to do everything we can to figure out what happened. Police say the investigation is not over yet, as they still have to figure out how all three people died. Sheriff Rivera tells me she feels like these SWAT situations are escalating very quickly now and are happening more often. She also says she wants to praise the first responders as heroes that rescued the older woman out of the home during the SWAT standoff while shots were being fired. Reporting live in Mill Creek, Jordan Burroughs, ABC4 News.